My name is Trevor Stride and we're in Plaza Bowling. Hi, I'm Nicole Medeiros. I'm Ryan Stevens and we're at Plaza Bowl. Let's go check it out. Plaza Bowling's been in business for 60 years this year. Uh, it was founded in 1959 by my grandpa, Lori. Uh, my dad had it from 1977 till 2017 when we, uh, when we took over the business. This strip was just a plaza, and I think that naming was quite literal back in the day, and, and that's what they went with, Plaza Bowl. We think it's a really neat combination of vintage with, with some modern mixed in. We think taking a beautiful space like this that's been maintained for 60 years and, and mixing in some great craft beer and good music and late nights and food by Drift Food Truck and, and an amazing team makes for a, a good combination. I like Plaza because it's an opportunity every week to get really social. You don't really have that very often after school, um, after university. So having a place to go every Monday where you can have beers, really good beers, local beers, and just talk with people that you've met through bowling is, is a lot of fun. Yeah, so to get involved in uh, our Low Rollers League, the best the best way is just to get in touch with us and we'll find out what night works best for you and get you get you on the wait list. We really try and focus inward and, and take the things that we think we're, we're great at, which is hospitality and craft beer and uh, creating a great environment and, and really trying to sharpen that up every day. Well, our go-to hashtag is rolling since 1959, which we think uh, is a nice homage to, to the longevity of the business and that's what, we, that's what we go with. I can be found most frequently for sure at Columbian Coffee. I like to grab a table there in the morning and, and get a great coffee and not work in a basement for a few hours while I catch up on emails. <laughs> We're right outside Plaza, and we're a stone's throw from Nate and Nate LRT station, so it's very well serviced by public transit. And as you can see, there's lots of parking out front. Uh, there's lots of parking in the back, including the neighborhood out back. Uh, so come on down with family. I think from an, uh, the challenge standpoint, uh, the most challenging thing would be balancing work-life relationship. I know that's not, um, that's not specific to Edmonton, but I think it's something that entrepreneurs everywhere face is, is trying to make sure, you know, you're a good husband and a good dad and, and while still maintaining all the responsibilities of, of running a business. Most rewarding is, is knowing that we are hopefully building something that is meaningful for the city and meaningful for the community and our staff and our family and, and everyone involved. We think it's, it's obviously important to be giving back to the community and be involved. We host uh, Special Olympics every Sunday and have an amazing relationship with them. We, anytime we throw a tournament, we always try and make sure there's some type of community support. To us, it's, it's a really special place and it, it comes from uh, the staff that we have down here, having those low rollers that come down every week and, and want to be a part of this and bowl in our leagues and, and support us. And I, I think it's just a really fun place. Thanks for joining us for this episode eight of our Next Gen Vlog series. If you have any feedback or suggestions of where we should go next, let us know.